done one of these in quite some time. I've been MIA for quite some time. So I'm just gonna kind of do my makeup and kind of see what's up, you know? I know you guys are kind of interested to know what's going on and how everything is going. Um, so yeah. I was thinking of doing like a Kylie Jenner pink in the center eye today. So of course I've been getting a lot of questions. Let's just talk about it. Let's just put it out there. Like Palm Springs, what's going on? What's happening? Only a few people know what happened in Palm Springs. It was not the best I would say that I had. Um, I was super excited to go to Palm Springs with my family and kind of catch up. Number one, like enjoy the summer and then also enjoy you know my sisters and my mom because we rarely see each other all the time so i was super stoked to do that but the end result i should have just stayed home no lie uh some people know what happened i told you know family and close friends in confidence not to say anything because i did contact an attorney and um, so yeah, and my mom's been getting the runaround uh, from upper management. So that is still pending to see like what's up, what's going on with that. So stay tuned because that video will be released. I don't know when, but it will be released. Um, and then what else is going on? Oh my God. Okay, um, some people don't know me personally, but they follow like my Instagram and watch my YouTube videos. I am like old and I am going back to school. I'm like super scared. I'm like not dumb, but I'm just like super scared because it's been like a while since I graduated college. So I'm going back to school. So that experience will be happening the end of October. And yeah, that's it. Um, I've been going through a lot of personal issues. Um, my aunt has been in and out of the hospital. She just had uh, surgery. And they put a bunch of staples like on her head and her neck. So I went to go see her last week because she was released from the hospital. Um, pretty sad. Sorry, I'm like blocking the camera. So that personally is going on. My grandmother is, you know, not doing too well. She has like an amazing garden. I know that I posted it on my Instagram story once. Her backyard is like crazy big. And last week i guess she was picking wayabas and she fell and uh she called out for the neighbor and the neighbor helped her up so that's what's going on so i have to be careful with my grandmother um i've been getting messages about cancers um it was just a general question i had some stuff go on um so i just wanted to get like general information but it's like you have all of a sudden you have like certain individuals from your past like creep back in and there happen to be all cancers i'm like what the hell so yeah i'm just like super duper confused but yeah whatever on that guys will be guys um but other than that i'm super stoked what's going on with me personally um let's see school work um yeah still the same just taking care of the family Please don't mind my swollenness on the bottom. I look like a, a frog. But new and upcoming YouTube video on that. 
I'm kind of a little bit hesitant to share, but in society, we need to know that everything is not what it seems like on camera, you know, so I'll be the first to admit it, but yeah, talking about Has anybody done anything quarantine style that's like unheard of or like going back like I'm super scared to go back to school I'm not gonna lie because I feel that I'm so old and I graduated college in 06 that it's been like years in the making for me to go back to school so I'm a little bit scared that's my one fear like I don't know what to expect because I'm old school thinking like Hey, I used to go in, go to lecture, go to lab, you know, turn in homework and assignments at a certain time. And now everything is, you know, computerized, which I'm sure I heard it's a lot easier because my sister is doing online uh, college. And some of my friends' kids are doing online college, but I don't know. I'm just nervous, I guess I would say. Nervous, nervous. Everybody is like wanting and dying to know about Palm Springs. Palm Springs, we spent like, I think three days there. But um, it was like torture. I'm going to tell you that right now. I still have nightmares. Um, I can't sleep at night because of what happened. I'm very like super scared. So yeah. All my stuff is like damaged. I got blocked, which I don't know why I would get blocked. I get it. I heard like they don't want defamation of character, slander of the company name. If you and I've got messages saying like, oh, I stood there for Coachella. If you stood there, stay tuned for the video because I think you're going to be super, super surprised on what happened. And it's not like it's not something to laugh about it's pretty serious i mean pretty serious in the sense where i had to go to the doctors but yeah um who's ready for halloween i know i've been lagging on some makeup looks and i plan to kind of perhaps start working on some makeup looks next week um because it's my favorite holiday. Favorite holiday, favorite themes. Drop in your themes to see if you want like to see something in particular. Um, I know as collaboration, we're supposed to do like YMCA and clown, which I did clown last year when I was working at the bar. Um, but if I have to do a clown again this year, I personally don't know what kind of clown I was going to do. But yeah, that is what's going on. Are you guys going to be celebrating Halloween? People that are 21 and up. I feel bad for the kids because in LA County, they canceled Halloween, which sucks because as a little kid you look forward to dressing up and going to get candy for Halloween but we'll see what's up I'm super scared to start school again you guys like I feel like I'm a dumbass I don't know if I'm allowed to say that I feel like a dummy <sighs> but yeah I feel super dummy Super duper dummy. What else has been going on? Shade, if I could say anything. Shade. Working is super shady. Some super shady characters. Um, but yeah. What can I do?
going back to school is like super scary i went to orientation online yesterday oh my god i felt like a dumbass or i'm sorry i felt really stupid um because i don't know i just i'm old school and i get it old school it's like you sit in class you do your class your homework your assignment turn it in take your test and this one is just like all virtual which i heard is much easier but i don't know has anybody taken online college classes if so tell me your experience down in the comments because i'm super like excited to start yet i'm super nervous super duper nervous yeah i don't know what's up with this weather but my skin literally i look like i'm related to like a lizard i'm just so dry and i put like super super duper moisturizer on even my eyelids it's like super dry yeah So yeah, so if you guys are wondering why I haven't been posting um, new content, just dealing a lot with some family stuff, going back to school, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Did anybody watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians yesterday to think that Kylie and Kendall got in a fight? Wow. Sisters. Sisters. Hello, sisters. I mean, that's like every... I wish I could say, but... I have two sisters, and... We don't all get along all the time. You know, so... I understand... Especially when it comes to like physical. Yeah. But I just don't know what's up with guys in general for quarantine. I don't know if it's because they're like, they're sad and they're lonely. Like all the exes seem to come out of the woodworks for the pandemic it's like oh i messed up i fucked up like let's go have lunch or something like ah, no thank you we all know what it is it's a straight booty call i'm not about that life so if you're gonna dm me dm me happy things not like, oh my god, I saw your recent post, and you look so good. If you didn't like me when I was ugly, don't like me when I'm fixing myself. That's all I have to say. Alright, I'm going to go off camera because I need to do my eyeliner, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I just put on my eyeliner, which is e.l.f. in jet black. And then, of course, this is not sponsored by anybody, but um, Batty B Lashes in Instaho, my faves, my go-to. Um, so yeah, I just uh, popped on a wing liner, popped on my lash. I'm letting that kind of dry. And then I'm gonna work on the bottom. So let's chat, shall we? Um, a lot of drama has been inputted, excuse me, like just the drama alone, if anybody is a reality TV like guru like me, I'm like obsessed, so 90 day fiance's coming back 
this weekend, the 11th, and I'm super stoked um, to see, like, what's up with that. Because everybody's, like, speculating that Britney and Yazan is, or I guess they're not together. And she's with Soulja Boy. So, you know, baby Lisa Soulja Boy. Not the rapper Soulja Boy. But, yeah. I'm, like, really stoked to see that. The Kardashians were amazing because they went to go see... Uh, drag show and of course you saw like Violet Chachki. I was watching when she won that whole drag race. I'm totally into uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. If you could see on my Instagram stories, I've been um, to DragCon several years now. I'm obsessed with them and that's how I kind of got into makeup because it's like how can a man transition their face like this? I'm not saying that I'm a man. Of course, I'm a woman. But just the talent that they have, amazing. Amazing, amazing. And Violet Chachki, love. I was always, like, into Violet Chachki and Miss Fame on that um, episode. So, yeah. So, um just blending it out I'm gonna need a new brush taking that dark brown of course and then I'm gonna have to do a light and blend it out and what is the T on um, Jeffree Star and that dude does anybody think that that guy really stole stuff or is it just like a publicity for Jeffree's new makeup line? Like, hello, does anybody know? I need to know, like, what's up? But I mean, at the end of the day, there's still like billionaires and we're over here talking about them like nothing, so. Living in his Calabasas mansion. And he's just like, yeah, don't use me for any type of clip bait. But you're making it seem like what else I just cannot wait for the tea you guys when it comes to Palm Springs I have so much that I cannot say it just like on the tip of my tongue I can't say it I want to tell you guys so bad but you guys need to stay tuned because it is like serious serious cheese my vibes like I can't even like I think everybody will kind of be scared the same way I was scared and like I literally stay up at night just thinking about it like I can't sleep it's kind of scary but what can I do but yeah what can I do let's see what's up um but yeah I don't know if you guys really want to know what I'm using. Um, probably not going to like that I'm using this. I'm using the Jeffree Star uh, Blood Sugar Palette. I'm just using the browns and the white, of course. And then I'm using the Morphe Jeffree Star Palette. Using their browns, too. Um, just trying to keep a natural look. Um, the inner corner, of course, I used, um, has anybody heard Kanye's kind of sample song with Lauren Hill in the background? That is something I just posted. Always supporting Kanye. I'm such a big sneakerhead when it comes to Yeezys, so I'm like, super excited for new music. Alright, so... This is kind of the final look. I'll kind of see what it looks like up close if I need more white. Yeah. Mm, I hope everybody's staying safe with this coronavirus. Don't forget to wear your mask. 
you know. Um, but yeah, this is my look for right now. I'm gonna curl my hair. I honestly don't know if you guys wanna see that, but I'll probably record it anyways. Um, if I don't like it, then of course I will take it out of the video, but yeah. So this is the finished look. Of course I need to clean up my bake, my eyes. Kind of the same, light browns, dark browns, creams. And now it's for my hair. If you guys saw one of my posts, I just got my hair done, so it's a little bit more blonder. Um, my hairdresser, also my coworker Ashley, she's the one that did it. I could link her um, in this video down below if you're interested. Um, she is uh, right by the Cerritos Mall. Um, so yeah, she's really good at what she does. Super reasonable, and um, I would recommend if you want to get your hair looking like a goddess to go see her but yeah all right so i'll be back